Hey guys, I just wanted to check in with you now that we're um, virtual for the next few days. Um, I, I'll be looking forward to seeing you back on the 13th or 15th, depending on which group you're in. Um, but I wanted to go over a few things so that it'd be really clear um, and that you wouldn't have any trouble while we are online. So the first thing I wanted to show you is um, as soon as you go to your home page for this class, you can see that there's Zoom conferences here. And the Zoom conferences, um, again, it doesn't matter if you're in Minorities Lit or English 9 or English 10, they're all right here. And our Zoom conferences for quarantine, I've set these up with the time that you're supposed to show up in them based on our Wednesday schedule, which is when you're supposed to show up in your meetings. So, so far you can see this one has Monday and Tuesday. It should also have Wednesday um, daily Zoom meetings. And these start at 8 because the Minorities and Lit class is period 1, which starts at 8 if you're on the AA schedule. So, AA schedule says your first class is at 8. Your second class, which is my English 9, is period 2, is at 8.40. If you have a period three, you go to your period three conference at 9.20, the period four at 10, your period five at 10.40. If you are on the BB schedule, you come Thursdays and Fridays, your classes that you should be showing up to are period one, 12.20, period two, one o'clock, period three is 1.40, period four is 2.20, and period five is three o'clock. So all of those are classes that you should be showing up now um, that we are online. You should be showing up to those conferences so that your teachers can take your attendance and help you out to know what's happening that day. So that's the first thing I wanted to show you is Zoom conferences. The second thing I wanted to show you is that everything you need for my classes, at least, I can't speak for all the other teachers because I don't know how they set up their classes, but I can say that when you are on our home page, regardless of what home page it is, all the upcoming assignments um, that have due dates are set up here. So you guys can already see today is Friday. This is what's due Friday. This is what's due Monday. This is what's due Tuesday. This is what's due Wednesday, Thursday. And um, there's no school Friday or Monday on the uh, 9th and 12th. And then school comes back October 13th on that Tuesday. And so you can see everything that's coming up right here. You can click these to go straight to the work. You can also go to your unit um, that you're working on and starting uh, about October 1st, maybe earlier, I've set up every folder to talk about what day, what date, and what happens, what assignments you need to complete for that day. So on Tuesday, this class got through all of these assignments. So those are all due Tuesday and there's no school. There wasn't school. Wednesday this week. So this class had um, everything from Thursday through Friday in this folder. So their Thursday was these two assignments, their Friday were these two assignments with an extra credit option. Moving on to Monday, Tuesday, you've got your Monday, Tuesday, and which dates are here. You got your Monday and Tuesday here. So these are all assignments that are clearly marked now for you. And then again, it doesn't matter which class you're in. Starting at about October 1, I've set them all up to be this clear. So you know which assignments to do for which day, since I won't be writing them up on the board like I usually do if we have class. Um, same for English 10. Again, it doesn't matter which class you're in. They're all set up that way. So if you see an error in here or if you see something wrong, shoot me an email right away because you're not the only one who's going to see it. Um, and I'll be glad to fix that for the rest of the students as well. Um, so those are the main things that you guys need to know as we are going back to um, virtual learning for a week. I don't want you to get behind, so be super sure that you're connecting with me and asking me lots of questions. Um, if you don't show up in class on time, you need to shoot me an email so you'll be marked present. Um, we have all of these assignments clearly marked for you so you know what you are supposed to do on Friday. You know what you're supposed to do on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday etc. The one thing that doesn't show up over here that I cannot give you a due date for is if you have a reading. So the readings for some reason I can't set up to have a due date. So I've just written if there's a reading it's like this. It says read the rules of the game and which day. Every other assignment has a due date at the bottom so you know which day to do it because that's not highlighting very well. Um, 
but the due date is at the bottom of each assignment. Again, some don't have due dates because I can't add them the way that I add them to the other things, um, and then those should show up there. So it doesn't matter what class you're in with me, just know that they're all set up this way. As soon as you open that folder, you can see the due date at the bottom of every assignment. You know when it's due, and you know that in my classes, the assignments are due at 11.59. They're late at midnight. Um, the last thing I just want to remind you is that we do have a deadline, and I've changed the deadline to be for all classes now. And so that deadline, instead of being on the October 7th, which is a Wednesday, I just made it October 8th, which is the day before our four-day weekend. So October 8th is the day. Um, I'll write this down for you visual learners. October 8th is the day that we have our deadline. All work needs to be completed by then. Make sure that everything you've done between 9-11 up to October 8th is done and turned in at that time. After that is only final stuff. So only things that are completed for the finals will be um, allowed to be turned in after October 8th. So you guys have all this time that you're online to get caught up in all your classes. So especially, especially just get caught up. So that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching this video and for reading the announcements. I'm looking forward to seeing you in class um, on our conference on Monday.